A deadly collision on the racetrack involving NASCAR champ Tony Stewart, Kevin Ward Jr. will be laid to rest today. And his father is now speaking out this morning for the first time. He was at the track when that all happened. Angry about what he uh, witnessed with the fans there. And ABC's Gio Benitez has more. This morning, Kevin Ward Jr.'s father is speaking out after his son was struck and killed Saturday night on the racetrack by NASCAR great Tony Stewart. The senior Kevin Ward telling the Syracuse Post Standard, Tony Stewart was the best damn driver by far on the track that night. Why he had to go up as high as he did and hog my son, there's no reason for it. After an initial accident with Stewart, Ward Jr. got out of his sprint car during that race. You can see him right there in this YouTube video video, pointing his finger angrily, apparently at Stewart. But seconds later, the right side of Stewart's car hit Ward, killing him. One of the other drivers who was racing on that dark track, telling ABC News he saw Ward get out of the car. I saw right away that he was really mad and he was pointing at my car at that point because it looked like he was looking for someone. Ward's father telling the Post Standard, apparently Tony Stewart was the only one driving out there who didn't see him. Stewart has not spoken publicly since releasing a statement earlier this week saying there aren't words to describe the sadness I feel. Ward's family now preparing for today's funeral. As investigators keep looking for evidence, they have not ruled out criminal charges against Stewart. In fact, experts say if prosecutors believe Stewart recklessly caused the death of another person, he could still be charged with second degree manslaughter. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.